Works for me. Hey, what's up guys? Devin here with Backcountry Exposure. Now this review has been a long time coming. It's been all summer that I've wanted to do a video on this gravity filtration system from Sawyer Products. This thing is so, so cool. You've seen it in a couple other of my actual backpacking videos, but now we're gonna do a real review on this product and talk about the things that I like about it, things that I don't like about it, just my experience with it, and why it's a good option for backpacking, especially if you're going to be going out in a group because this thing filters a lot of water and it's really convenient and it does a really good job of just getting you the water that you need for drinking quickly and not having to go back to the water source several times. But there are some things about this uh, that could be a little frustrating. I've been able to find some workarounds with it and uh, comparing it to other types of gravity systems out there, it may not be the best option, but Sawyer has a reputation of just being a really great uh, brand that puts out quality gear, and that's what this product is. It's a quality gravity system that uh, is really lightweight. Altogether, you're about eight ounces for this entire package, so that puts this on the definite uh, top of the list for me in regards to other gravity systems that are available out there, specifically comparing to what MSR has available. But I know that a lot of people don't like the bags that Sawyer puts out there, uh, so different options might be available for you to be able to attach this. And considering the fact that a lot of people take their uh, regular Sawyer Mini or their Sawyer Squeeze, and convert that into a type of gravity system. But this is a all-in-one type gravity system, so let's go ahead and talk about all of the things about it. So the first thing that I want to dive into with it is the bag itself, the one gallon bag. Now, filling this bag is not super convenient. In fact, it's one of the more difficult bags that I have experienced, and what I find myself using uh, to fill it more so than just dunking it into the lake or stream that I'm trying to fill from is this little cup that I have from Hydropack. Now, I use this thing to fill all of my Sawyer bags because this is super lightweight, but a lot of people are using like a uh, squished water bottle or something like that to fill their uh, Sawyer bags. So different types of options are definitely available out there. I just like this because it's super lightweight, really easy to use, but to fill a one gallon bag, that's where the inconvenience comes with using a little uh, cup like this because there's no way that I can get the full one gallon in here without using a supplement uh, supplementary type of container to get it filled all of the way. Another thing that I want to point out about the bag is the fact that the handle in relation to where the nozzle uh, or the outflow of the water is going to come out of this is a little bit awkward and I'm going to show you the hack that I am using for this particular bag to be able to make it a little more uh, convenient and that is using a piece of cord to be able to hang it in this orientation so that all of the water goes straight down into the bag. Now this is not how they have designed the bag to hang. They do want you to hang the bag uh, from the handle here and I've seen complaints and reviews and things from people saying that this really doesn't work. In fact, I've heard of one person, I read that one person had the handle rip off of the bag. I am not trying to dog on Sawyer's products. I am just trying to give you guys an honest review of things that I've seen, things that I've heard, give you an idea of how beneficial this might be for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this set up and show you guys how I hang the bag to make this a little bit more convenient. Now I've got the bag hanging, so let's go ahead and talk about the other things that are included with this gravity system. Sawyer Mini that has been modified a little bit to make it more convenient for 
uh, gravity filtration. So I'm going to compare it to the other uh, standard Sawyer Mini. So the first thing to notice about these is on the outlet you have a uh, male thread. So the benefit to this is they do include this little cap that's like the top of a water bottle and you're able to screw that onto uh, this filter and then run the water out of it that way as well as close, be able to close the uh, filter so that when you're not filtering water and needing to fill bottles and, and whatnot, then you're not wasting water. The other thing about this is there's not a uh, post on the outlet like there is on this one. There is a way for you to push a, a hose on there if you wanted to fill directly into a water bladder, um, but then on the other side, on the back end or the inlet, they are basically the same. So that is the biggest difference that you're going to get with this filter. Now the thing to consider though is the fact that these are going to have the same flow rate. So if the flow rate of the Sawyer Mini is an issue for you, then this gravity system might be a problem. I think complaining about flow rates is kind of a, a stupid thing and I just see it more so around on YouTube and people saying, oh my gosh, the Sawyer needs to have better flow rates and this thing has better flow rates. I totally understand the fact that having a filter that fills a bottle faster is really convenient if you are just trying to cover a lot of miles really fast and you don't want to waste spend a lot of time or waste time uh, filling bottles but for the most part really consider the fact that a flow rate as long as you're getting water at a consistent rate and it's not slowing and you don't have issues with it then it's really not that big of a big of a deal so I don't mind the flow rate that comes out of the Sawyer at all. Squeezing it is one thing, but the fact that this is going to give me the water that I need when I've got extra time in camp, like it's really not that big of a deal. The other thing they're going to include with this is the actual hose that attaches to the bag to be able to screw on to the filter to then hang and fill your bottles with. So let's go ahead and set this up and show you how uh, this is going to work. All right, so now I've got this all set up in the uh, gravity orientation. So you'll notice that the hose on this is pretty long. So I do have to hang this pretty high if I'm going to be filtering just straight out of this cap, which has been basically how I've used this uh, over the like 20 or so gallons that I have uh, filtered through this over the summer. But notice how I am hanging this. What I have done is I've tied a bowlin to the branch up here and then I've just got a small piece of, of cord and I have tied a clove hitch around the top of the bag here. And this is basically allowing me to have the orientation where the bag is hanging such that it's a straight line down uh, for the water to flow instead of having it uh, horizontal and making it a little bit diff more difficult to get the full capacity of the bag uh, to filter all in one one thing without having to tip this up and uh, hang it in that orientation. So I don't know if that was a design feature uh, that Sawyer put into this and what their exact thought process was, but to be really frank and honest with you guys, this has not been an issue for me and I've been really happy with how this filter has functioned. So a couple other things to note real quick before I show you the flow rate and how this filters is a couple things that are included with the product on this. You do get the back flush uh, syringe that comes with all of the Sawyer products. You do also get this uh, double sided threaded coupler that allows you to back flush using like a smart water bottle, uh, that kind of application. And then they include this black uh, plastic clip. To be totally honest, I have no idea what this is for. And on their website, they don't show this uh, being used in a way that I understand what it's for. So if you know, please let me know. But otherwise, I don't see the direct application of using this. They do also have the cap for the bag. So let's go ahead and show you how the filter uh, works. So this connection um, you have to be really careful. You can see that I'm already getting, uh, because I don't have this on here really tight, if you don't get it sealed on here really good, 
I've got dirty water that is uh, dripping down over top of the nozzle. So I've got to be really careful to make sure that that stays nice and clean. Not a real big issue because I haven't experienced this being a problem in that once I get it on there tight enough uh, and it seals that O-ring that is down in there, not, not a problem. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and open this up. It's what you expect from a normal uh, like pop top water bottle and again the flow rate not awesome like I get that I understand it this just takes a little bit of practice but I'm really really happy with this and I think it works really well what I'm gonna do is show you how the coupler that's included with this is another way to kind of like set it and forget it type of application for when you're using a smart water bottle. Something that I really wish they included with this product that they don't is some kind of hose clamp that you can put on the hose to be able to shut the water on and off that you do find in other gravity filtration products. We've got the coupler that's included and then I'm just gonna screw my smart water bottle onto this and I'm just gonna let it hang there. I'm gonna open up the hose clamp. Now this hose clamp I think is a little bit uh, too big, but I am experiencing the fact that there is some kind of uh, vacuum that's happening on this and I'm not getting uh, any flow through the filter. So I'm gonna figure that out. So basically what happened is there was like a negative pressure or just a pressure buildup around the coupler when I, uh, at least on the outlet side, when I loosened that up there was a big like uh, pressure release and that has now made it so the water would filter into this. So it does have to have some kind of way to breathe, but for the most part guys, this thing is really cool, it's super convenient. And the fact that I'm just able to like walk away and let bigger bags fill and everything, then I've got the option to do that. One of the things that doesn't get me super psyched about this product is the uh, limited type of application in the sense of bottles and things that I have uh, to filter. When I'm out with a big group, if I've got a big gallon of water, then I like to filter larger bags and just get that entire gallon done at one time. And typically I'm using those MSR dromedary bags. Those don't work with this type of connection. They don't have the same size threads and all of that. So uh, there are probably accessories or things that you can get that would make it uh, available to do that. But that is something to consider with this product as well. There you go guys. That is the Sawyer Gravity one gallon filter system. So if you have filter products, you know how awesome they are and you know how well they work. So thanks for watching guys. Check this thing out because it's really cool. I've put a link down in the description for you to be able to go uh, to Amazon, purchase it as well as Sawyer's website, find out more information. But thanks again for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Hope you guys have an awesome day.